Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Gemini? This is Positive Thoughts of Energy. Happy Saturday. How's everyone doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, <clears throat> good night, whenever you come across this channel. Hope you all are staying safe. How is all of my subscribers doing? I love you guys. How was your week? I hope you keep your energy up. I want to say thank you so much for your likes and sharing my content. And please remember to watch the video all the way through because it really helps support my channel. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Two new viewers, come on in and cross watches. Come on in, take what resonates, okay? Leave the rest for someone else. If you don't know, I am an intuitive energy reader. I am also a healer. I send heal, healing towards your life. This channel is all about respecting each other. And, um, and it's all about raising your vibration and your energy, okay? And so we're going to get started. Let's see where your vibration is at, Gemini. Spirit guys, this is for Gemini. What's the vibration? What's the vibration for Gemini? Let's see. Vibration for Gemini. Okay, Gemini. Nature. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this, but Spirit Guys is saying sometimes we have to get out in nature to ground ourselves. So, you know, if it's just sitting outside near trees or in the, at the park or something, Spirit wants you to connect with nature. Nature is a perfection for the imperfections, okay? We need old trees just as well as we need new trees, okay? And so it helps you to ground, okay? I feel like that helps with your vibration, Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. One more card for Gemini for vibration. Okay. Journal. Okay. All right. So your next vibration is all about journal. Okay. First, you have grounding. Grounding yourself with nature. Now it's about journalizing. It says when you need to you, when you need to get ideas and emotions out, spirit is saying write them down. Holding in thoughts and emotion causes the energy to become stagnant in your body. Let the energy out and let it flow. Okay. So these both cards, both of these vibration cards, go hand in hand with nature and with journalizing. Don't hold it in. Write it down. Let it out. Talk it out, okay? Because it removes stagnant energy, okay? Stagnant negative energy, okay? So, Gemini, that's that's um, good for your vibration. So, we're going to see where your energy is at. Thank you, Spirit Guys. What is the energy? What's the energy you have for Gemini? What's the Gemini's energy? How have your energy been going, Gemini? Let's find out, okay? It looks like if some of you have gotten, oh, gotten out of, uh, where did that card go? <laughs> I'm going to say some of you have gotten away from some hostility and you got the I t all tied up card, which I feel like some of you have gotten out of something. Okay, you have let go of something, something that you have held yourself back. You have gotten out of it. I feel like, yeah, you've gotten out of a heart. You've got you've gotten away from something that has, you know, somebody that really broke your heart. OK, I feel like you're getting over a heartbreak. I feel like you have healed from a heartbreak. This could be for several different people. OK, different groups of people. But you still have some mending to do because you see, even though you have healed, you still have some leakage, which means you still have some mending to do. You've gotten out of it. That's a beautiful thing. You, you, you know, because you. You know, that's the best move that you can that you can do. OK, spirit guys, tell me more about uh, Gemini's energy. So you've gotten out of something that caused you heartbreak. You have healed from it. OK, and you just have some more mending to do. That means you have you have some more healing to do. And I was going to take that card. Um, someone did a best friend or someone that around you all the time. Someone in the community. Did someone hurt your heart? Break your heart? OK. This, yeah, I also feel like appreciation. It just fell on the heart, okay? Which tells me that um, you're very, you're a type of person that um, is very noticeable, okay? You dress nice, you very confident, okay? Um, 
you are very appreciative, okay? And so I feel as though that a lot of you are very grateful and thankful that you got out of this that you really are beginning to heal. You're beginning. Okay, thank you. Spirit guys is, is saying that you're appreciating this heartbreak. You're appreciating this heartbreak because if you didn't go through this, you probably wouldn't be where you're at right now. Look at you. You're standing. Your back is up. Your your back is arched up with confidence and and you your worth. You have really. You know, you have stepped up several levels of your value. And I feel like some of you are saying, I appreciate. You probably didn't then, but you appreciate this heartbreak now. And like I said, it could come from a friendship, from someone that was very devious. Okay. Or you, it could be from someone you got married, someone you, you was married to. Okay. Um, but you appreciate what you went through. You said, I appreciate this because I wouldn't be where I am right now. So, yeah, no more hostility, no more fighting, no more all the crazy stuff that you went through in this relationship that, yeah, no more attachment. Good job. Good job, Gemini. My goodness, you have let go of everything. No more attachments, okay? You are, look at here, you're ready for your yin yang, okay? You're ready for romance. You're trying to, you, you're coming up with a strategy. You're planning something. But some of you could be still a little vulnerable, all right? And it's okay um, because you're on a new journey. OK, you're on a new journey. You live in your life. You go. You're headed towards your happiness. OK, some of you could have moved away over across a body of water, north, east, south or west. But you're headed towards your happiness. And you're so glad you are starting. This is the world card out with the old in with the new. You know, at one point in time, you was all alone. You went through that heartbreak, that pain. But you have learned to appreciate and you have got yourself out of you so glad and you. I feel like a lot of you are saying I, I, you are showing yourself appreciation and look, you're starting, you're out with the old. Some of you are coming out of it and you're going towards a new journey now. Okay. That's who you are. And you know, yes, you're still coming up with a strategy, a plan because you know, you got to start your own life now. Okay. Oh, so you definitely got a caring connection. That's why I say some of you are ready. Okay. You have this daughter romance and you have this yin yang soulmate connection, twin flame connection. Uh, some of you are um, maybe talking to someone now. You're on a new journey, starting a new beginning. And you say, you know what? I appreciate this heart, this heartbreak that I went through. Because if I didn't go through that, I would not have met this beautiful woman or this caring man. Because some of you are on a new journey with someone new. So you appreciate this pain that you went through. I know it kind of sound like, what? Huh? But you know what? I appreciate all the pain I went through. Because look, if it wasn't, if it wasn't, if you wouldn't have never met this person right here. Ain't that a beautiful thing? Oh, my goodness. That's a beautiful thing, Gemini. Spirit, guys. Oh, okay. Two cards came out. You want me to get those, Spirit? Let me see if it's significant. Okay, it's significant. The first card is the, your, you are your greatest gift. Your life's journey is your masterpiece. And you realize that, hey, I am somebody. I am my greatest gift. OK, and the other the other uh, card is the way is clear. Awaken to the power within. A lot of you woke up. You have awakened and you said, I'm so glad if it wasn't for me going through the pain that I went through, being all tied up, you got out of it. If it wasn't for that, you said, I appreciate my pain. I appreciate I went through with what I went through. Not saying that I wanted to go through the heartbreak but now I see the picture differently I see my way through clear I have awakened I'm on a new journey a new beginning okay 
with a new connection. I have let go of this hostility, this attachment, the fighting I had with this man or this woman. I have let go of all of that. I've let go of friends that I had to fight and, and fight and argue and stuff. I've let go of that. Yes, I may be in a little vulnerable state, but I am on a new journey. Clearly, I'm not going to be in a dark space anymore. You see that? Because I have a caring connection that's coming towards some of y'all. If not, some of you are already starting to talk to somebody. And you say, thank you, God. Thank you, divine spirits that I got out of this, that I, you know, if it wasn't for me being heartbroken, I wouldn't have never met this beautiful person in my life. So that's just, that That was just your energy. So let's see what uh, ancestors, your angels is saying. Gemini. Thank you, spirit guys. This is for Gemini. Okay, Gemini. It says, medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. Yeah, you are definitely in tune with yourself now. You're like, I am so happy. I am more smarter now than I ever been. Look at that. Look out there. Ain't that powerful? Yeah, you honor your inner knowing. You respect. You say, uh uh, never again. And you just have a whole different outlook on life now, you know? Thank you, Spirit Guys. And yeah, you you dreaming. And you know, this is something that you dreamed and your journey is for someone to love you like you deserve to be loved and to care about you like you're supposed to be cared for. Okay, whether you're on a journey or with love or you're on a journey with your with your passion or something that you're passionate about, you honor your intuition. You say, I am so glad that I got out of this heartbreak and I listened to my intuition. And you say, my intuition never fails me. And you are so grateful and appreciative for your intuition. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't that something? Thank you, Spirit God. Let's see what the fortune teller is saying for you, Gemini. That is good. I am so happy for you, Gemini. Thank you, Spirit Guys. So let's see what the fortune tellers, what's going on, Spirit God. Okay. So uh main female. You have a main field. This is you. This is you, honey. Look at you. Main female. Mm -hmm. Main female in the picture. You have leveled up since you have. And it's almost like these two cards. <laughs> Look at here. These two cards. It's almost like the same. You see that? Yeah. The main female. You are... Mm, you have power, lady. You have power. You have power. You have strong intuition. You know your worth. You have always had confidence, and this person tried to break you down. You, as a child, okay, you have always. It was always something about you. I feel as though spirit is telling me that you've always had this gift about you. Your intuition, your knowing. And look at you. You always, look at that, as a child. Okay? Beautiful. Thank you, spirit guides. You always had that gift in you. Okay? You always had that that play like energy that that child like energy in you um and you're on a journey you're definitely on a journey that's the card that fell you're definitely on a new journey you say thank you so much when you look back and you say thank you so much for that heartbreak because i am on a new journey no oh, that's yin yang i'm sorry y'all I said, yeah, yeah. Well, that's too. You on a you okay, spirit God said you <clears throat> you on a new yarn new journey with a yin yang with your soul made a twin flame. <clears throat> but the card came out twice. Okay, you have the world. Where's the journey card? Here it is. I'm trying to get to it. 
Okay? You're on a journey. You're definitely on a new journey. You definitely look left, you know, left all that behind. You're a mature woman now. Okay, you say, I will no longer be a secondary woman. I will always remain the main woman. Okay, because I know my value. I know what I'm worth. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Okay. Spirit guys, what's the message for Gemini? There it is. Enough said. And it just came out. You are the Empress. I don't have to say nothing else. You are the Empress or the Emperor. You know your worth and you appreciate who you are. And because of how you see yourself, this is how people see you, Gemini. That is all worth saying. I have done the reading. And you're about your business. This person is coming in. Look at here. You got the empress and you got the emperor. This person's coming in to match your energy. And you're going to, you, I'm telling you. This person could be an Aries that's coming in your life, Gemini. But this could be you. This could be you, the Empress, about your business, in control of your life. You're sitting on your throne. You can manifest anything you want. You are definitely this person. Or it can be just you have the Emperor and Empress, a batch, your yin to your yang, this caring connection. You know, this is the divinely guided. So it's a beautiful thing. You said, thank you for my heart being broke because I, I am on a whole new dirt journey. And if I, my heart wasn't never broke, I wouldn't have never met this beautiful person. I wouldn't have never met this handsome, this very beautiful man, this very beautiful woman. Yeah. And you said, I thank you, spirit guides, God, because I learned a lot. I know my value. So hold your ears. I'm just going to pull some charms and see if it's significant to your reading, Gemini. Thank you, spirit guides. That is beautiful, Gemini. I am so proud of you, Gemini. Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Gemini. Wow. Gemini, you have a lot of transitioning here. You have butterflies. Look at that. Butterflies. Some of you like flowers. Okay. Uh, you like basketball. You are a star. Look at here. This is stars. You also have a cross. The divine God. You have a cross here. Okay. Somebody like this person could like weights. Um, somebody, y'all, somebody like high heel shoes. This might be you. You may have, you know, you like high heel shoes. This woman could wear a lot of high heel shoes for the men's. Uh, you got star again. I see, I feel like the stars. This is divinely guided. Yes, you have seashells, which tells me that uh, you're probably going to go to the beach or something. You also have the love. This is definitely Cupid. Okay, the love is here. <laughs> My nails are so long, y'all. Look, you have Cupid there. Okay. Okay. You also have a key. Some of you are going to open up a key to a house. Uh, this can be a key to love. This can be to whatever the key is significant to you. You also have, uh, what are those, um, what are those little, uh, those little, uh, that little uh, uh, I can't remember what that is. Somebody have to put it in a comment. You also uh, could like pink, okay, but definitely a transition, all right? which is beautiful, star, cross. Oh, you got two keys. Oh, I didn't see that. You got two keys and love. Look at here. Honey, them doors is about to open up for you, Gemini. You have two sets of keys. You get ready to get two sets of keys, a house, a car. This is two love. You're going to have keys to each other's heart, soulmate connection. You're going to have keys to each other's heart. Mm -hmm. This is divinely guided. I am boss of those, the energy, Gemini. I'm so proud of you. Until next time.